Atlanta United Fan TV, that has got to feel good. We get through 4-1 on aggregate. Happy days. I told you last week, if, like, if, if we just, you know, buckle down, we would, we would be able to get through pretty smoothly. And this honestly far exceeded my expectations. And, you know, I, I'm so happy. I, I, I'm more than ready for the next round course. I, I heard New York already scored. So, you know, hey, it's, it's, it's game on on that side. But, yeah, I, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'll, three more games, and it's it's all ours. Whoever's next, I mean, hopefully Tata get them ready. And if it's New York, Red Bulls, we got to do something that we never did, beat them twice. Um, and we got to get more goals them. We, we got to beat them, just got to get, get more goals. Hey. Exactly, exactly. I, I want to beat them twice um, <laughs> because I, I don't like Bradley Wright Phillips, or, yeah, yeah for that matter. But, uh, yeah, it's whoever it is, we just bring it on. Now, in terms of this match, I mean, a, a decent performance. I don't know if uh, in the run of play we were, you know, lights out or anything, but on the dead balls, we were just killer. Yeah. Yeah, it was um, – so there was a lot of times where they – it was almost like they were hungry, and it was a killer instinct that we didn't see against Toronto. We kind of saw it the first half of the first match. The second half, it was kind of like uh, – but it was that, and they just need to keep that the rest of the way, and it should be ours. You know, honestly, I noticed that the first, all, the first three goals, both for them and for us, were all off, off of set pieces. You know, but uh, I, know, I think that for for one, New York City was like hacking the mess out of us. So you know, for there, there should have been a couple, at least one red card, I believe, and you know. It, it, I think, honestly, it probably could have been an even bigger victory. But, you know, hey, I'm, I'm not tripping. I'm not complaining. You know. Three was not bad. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that, that's that's about our, 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 our standard, you know, score at home. So, you know, I'll, 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 so I'll, I'll take that. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Now, uh, you know, it's something you've got to big up, you know, Miles Robinson coming in seamless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that was huge. That was, that was a bit of a surprise. And, uh, you know, I – and. It, Actually, uh, the guy that was that was uh, here by, um, before us, uh, he actually mentioned that the last that we played when we played New York City back at the beginning of the season, uh, Miles played and he, and he did well down that game too. So like maybe it was something where you know it was like ma uh, matchup wise, it it played to our advantage and you know he, he held up pretty well. Uh, you know I, I hope that you know it's good to know that we had that kind of depth. You know, because especially when you get this kind of this late in the season, you know, during playoff time, you want to have guys that, that you want to be able to rely on. And, you know, whether it's Miles Robinson, Kevin Kratz, whether it's Romario, whether it's Barco, like I said, Barco's on the bench. Like, that's crazy when you think about it. But, yeah, that's the kind of depth that we have. And I think that, you know, like I said, it, like I said as long as we stay healthy, like we didn't even, we didn't even play Tito. Like, dude, are you serious? Like, like yeah, that. I mean, he got a, a few minutes today, but it was, yeah. I mean, we didn't even start him. Yeah, it's, it's kind of nuts, right? I think, I think Miles. Uh, I think he might have realized that no, no matter what happens this season, next season it's going to be him because Parkhurst is getting up there in age, and he realized that he's got to buckle down and get it together because um, that, that, that Dallas match. You have yeah, to, you have to take but exactly, exactly. You got to take advantage of it, and it's one of those things. Though I don't know if Park is completely done because we do have, you know, a Champions League run to make, right. and we do need some veteran presence. Yeah. We need that experience that have need, been need, in those fights you need before. And you need depth, and I think that you know, I, I think that we have both. And you know, no matter what happens during the offseason, you know, whether Almiron leaves, whether Joseph leaves, I think that we're in a good position to where. I think that we have the depth uh, to do well there. But, of course, right now we're, we're, we're worried about MLS Cup. You know, we're worried about, you know, getting to the conference finals. And, you know, we're, we're there, you know, like one step at a time. And, you know, we're, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. All right. One word answer. All right. Columbus or New York Red Bull next round? Uh, I want Columbus only for revenge for last year. New York revenge. Okay. You are bold. You are bold. Thank you, gentlemen.